Hey guys, Retro Reviews here again with another Kamen Rider roleplay video review. This time I'm going to be doing the Kamen Rider Kiva belt. As you can see, I don't have the Kiva on me yet. As right now, I want to go through the individual parts first and the details. So as you can see, here's Kiva's belt. A very nice red with the whole um, vampire and stained glass theme going on as you can see in there is the uh is like a stained glass look on it it's got these nice tumblers here with molded on chains and the molded chains go all the way through the belt all the way over to the back and back around again all the way up to the other side then there's this bar here which we will talk about later and right here as you can tell and here's the buttons to unsnap it. And then it's also got these two flesh slots here for the flessels that come with it. On both sides, you've got the Wake Up, Castle Doran, uh, Boron Booster, Garuru Saber, not Garulu as it was Englished in the, uh, in the, uh, Instructions. This is Garuru, Basha Magnum, and Daga Hammer Fuessels. And that's about it for the belt. Now on to the star of the show, Kivet. As you can see, very, very nice, very awesome gold paint job on him, which goes all the way around. He's got the stained glass look for his wings, which open up to reveal more. And on his ears, it's a nice little green crest, which I have no idea what it's for. And these awesome looking eyes, which look hypnotic as well. Um, also, silver fangs. Then on his back, a little tail molded on there. And then stained glass molding on the insides of his wings. And then the clear button here, which we will talk about as soon as we get the electronics on. Which kind of irritates me where the switch is. It's on his side. It's not hidden on the back anywhere. It's right there on his side, which is kind of throwing it off. Because he's supposed to be like a... He's not supposed to be like a machine. He's supposed to be more or less a living thing. And then you see this on switch on the side, and that kind of throws the whole imagination off. So just flick it on and he's in a bad mood. He does come in two modes, which is going to be hard to go through. Oh, and also that happens, which is going to be hard to go through in this review. He's got the bad mood and the good mood. That was his good mood, which I'm glad I got it at both of them right away. And by pushing the top button, it opens up his jaw. And he says, Gabu, or bite. And he does it again. Press it a third time. He says a phrase, which I don't know what he's saying. And you could pretend like this is a puppet, so you can... If you could get a good grip on it. So it's very nice, and um, let's see if I can get him in his bad mood real quick and hear those sounds. There we go. So, there's a sound effect. No? Back to good mood. So, in order to do the henshin, you push the button all the way, which locks his jaw open. And then, at this point, he's trying to find something bite, and oh, his eyes still light up too. 
in which is like an arm or the hand somewhere so we'll do it like in the show very hypnotic sound and take him he's got these two clips as feet which go over the bar on the belt and And that standby sound effect goes on for 30 seconds or so. I've found out that on my own, but it goes on for a little while. It doesn't keep going on and on and on and on forever because that would get very annoying. So next up is the Fussels to see what sound effects they do. Open up his mouth and slide it in. There's these two grooves if you can see it on the inside of his mouth which this which the fussel will just go in and then push it down Wake up. and he does the wake up sound effect from the TV show next is the castle Doron Which is a very plain looking fossil, but. Very nice. The Boron Booster, which is funny because it's a boring one that he only used twice. Looks like an Easter Island head, too. <laughs> And next up is for the arms monsters, the Garuru Saber. And as you can see, his eyes stay blue for a little while. And um, this is for the arms weapons. I guess I'll use Decades Ride Booker to do this. But now after the arms mo monsters have been used as fossils, if you take the weapon, you can have him bite onto it. So you have a, the, to do the supercharged finisher. Which you could also just put your finger on there. Next up is the Basha Magnum. It does the same sound effect for all of them. And then the Daga Hammer. And there we have the Kiva belt. If you're into Kamen Rider Kiva, I do suggest you get this belt. Very nice. Absolutely nothing needed to buy to go along with it unless you want to get the arms monsters. But, eh. But again, very nice, and just to take off Kiva, there is a little silver, or this clear latch right here on the back of his ear that connects onto the belt somewhere. I'm guessing right here. So, um, he can come off and then... Be a Kiva again. And so, there we have it, the Kiva belt. Very nice belt. You do like Common Rider Kiva, which a lot of people seem to not. Um, go ahead and pick it up. I mean, very nice belt, very lively. It's got a very nice representation of that Kiva, which his eyes decided to glow at the eeriest time. And um, again, just all out nice belt. It does it does itself a lot of good. So if you want a belt to get Go ahead and pick up the Kiva one if you can get a hold of one for cheap, though. So, this is Ratchet Reviews. I hope you guys like this video review, and I'll see you again next time.